everyone, welcome back to the Natural Mediterranean Sewing Channel. My name is Alexandra and today I'm going to be showing you how to cut and sew the Simple Pant. The Simple Pant is one of my favorite pants to wear for every day and depending on what fabric you choose to cut it out, you can dress it up or dress it down. I'll be showing you how to measure the inseam and adjust the pattern so it fits your leg perfectly. And I'll also be showing you how to add a patch pocket at the end of the video. So stay tuned till the end. So I'm here at the cutting table with my pattern already printed out to scale and tape together. I've also cut it out along the seam allowance edge. The fabric that I'm using today is a raw silk. So raw silk is a lot like linen, except it has a little bit more texture and it does not stretch out during the day like linen does. So it's actually my favorite fabric to use. You can get this at Thai Silks and I'll put a link to it in the description. You'll also need three quarter inch elastic for making the waistband, all purpose thread, scissors, and this little tool. I'll come show you. It's for the elastic. No pointy edge, it stays on nice and tight and we'll use it, like I said, to put the elastic in the waistband casing when we get there. Before we cut out the pattern, I wanna prepare my elastic. To do that, I'm going to take a measurement of my actual waist since the pants are going to sit at the natural waistline. So go ahead and take your measuring tape I like to put two fingers behind the measuring tape when I measure my body so it allows for breathing room. My waist with the two fingers of ease is 27 inches. So I'm going to cut a piece of elastic 27 inches long. You can see that the pant has a dotted line here to make a version for shorts. Like I said before, you can make this any length you want by cutting off length or adding length at this bottom edge of the pattern here. So now I'm going to show you how to modify the length of the pattern to fit your inseam. To measure your inseam, I like to do a little trick. Take the measuring tape and grab it at the one inch end, place it on the floor at the arch of your foot and step on it with your other. So it should be right under the arch of your foot. Stand up slowly until the measuring tape is about one inch below your crotch. I can put my legs together and the measuring tape doesn't go anywhere. Now I can bend over and see where it hits right below my ankle bone, 24 inches, and that's my measurement. Now that I know my inseam length, I'm going to adjust the pattern right on the edge here. We're going to measure down 24 inches, which is my inseam length, and I'm going to just make a little mark here. and the same on the other side. Now I'm going to take my ruler and make a line across to connect the two. So now that I have this line, I need to add seam allowance on the bottom to fold under and stitch to make the hem. I'm going to use a one inch seam allowance so I'm just adding one inch to the bottom of the pattern. Now I'm going to cut the pants out of the fabric. I recommend that you wash and dry your fabric first um, to make sure that it shrinks before you make the actual garment. So you'll notice on the pattern that there is a line with an arrow that's the grain line. You wanna make sure that grain line is parallel with the selvage edge or the woven ends of the fabric.
To sew this together, you'll need to put right sides of the fabric together for the front rise and the back rise. You'll notice that if you fold this in half, your back rise is a lot larger than your front rise. So keep this in mind when we go to do the waistband, we're going to start at the back first. To do the inseam, I'm going to open up the leg like this. So you'll want to put your rise seam together and you can just put a pin there so that they stay together and you'll have one nice matching seam. The last thing I'm going to do is make a stitch all the way around the top edge of the pant without cutting anything off. So this will make it easier for us to fold under when we make the waistband. The first thing I want to do is sew a top stitch to top stitch the front and back rise down. This will reinforce the stitch and make your pants a bit more sturdy. The next thing we'll do is make the casing for the waistband. We're going to first fold the top edge under one quarter inch, which is basically the measurement of the serger stitch that I did. So we can follow that guide and then fold it again one inch. And I'm just going to work my way around the waist with pins. Now I'll top stitch the waistband down about an eighth of an inch on top of that folded edge here on the bottom that I've pinned. We'll start at the center back and work all the way around, but leave about three inches so we can put the elastic through. Now, if you remember this helpful tool, we're going to place it on the end of the elastic. So that it's taut. And I'm just gonna snake it through this hole so it comes out the other side. Now I can connect the elastic. So make sure it's flat, that you haven't twisted it. Overlap the ends by half an inch and we're going to make a little box. Now I'm just going to stitch this closed here. So now I'm here at the ironing board and I'm just going to press the hem up and pin it so that it's easily sewn. I just 
give these one final press and now we have the sample paint completely sewn and ready to wear. So now I'm going to show you how to draft a pocket for the pant. This is going to be a patch pocket style, so it's, it's like a sticker. You just stick it on and you sew around. You'll need a ruler. I like to use a see-through ruler that has a grid um, so I know the measurements that I'm working with and it's very accurate. A pencil and an eraser because you might make a mistake. A hole punch and a piece of printer paper. I also have my cell phone here because I might want to put my cell phone in the pocket so it's the largest thing that I would want to put in there. So that's why I have that. The first thing you'll need to do is fold the pattern in half until the front edge and the back edge touch. Just put a small crease in it and then unfold it and we'll use this line as the reference for the side seam or where the side seam would have been. I'm gonna just draw a line straight down, just to any length. Um, and from here, the only other thing we need to worry about is this waistband. So at this edge, this is the seam allowance that's going to be folded down to create the waistband casing, okay? So anything that is an inch below this line, we don't want to put the pocket in there because that's going to be scrunched up with the waist. So I want to draw a line that's one inch below this line here for reference. Okay, so now I have just a dotted line, which area I do not want to draft anything in because it's gonna be scrunched up with elastic. So from there, knowing that my pocket edge will probably be here, I want to put my cell phone in this imaginary pocket. So I just put my cell phone in there and now I know how large to make the pocket. So if this is going to be my opening, this is gonna be my bottom edge. So you want to have about, let's say that's about one and a half inches below this um, dotted line that I made here. And to the bottom, you'll want another inch as well. So just make a mark one inch below your phone and about one inch away from your phone on the other side. So we'll use that as sort of a guide. Now we get to design a little bit. So I don't like my pocket very pointy and square. So what I'm gonna do is just freehand a rounded curve So that will be my style line for my pocket there. Now we can focus on the opening of our pocket. So with the pocket, I like to have some of the pocket stitched at the top so it doesn't gape open when the elastic is gathered. So I'm just going to follow this line for about two and a half inches. So right on that dotted line there, two and a half inches, and then make my opening. So I want my opening to come four inches down from this dotted line and connect with here. So I'm just going to go just like that. Now that I've got my pocket dimensions in place, you'll need one of these. So this is called a stiletto wheel or a tracing wheel and it's got little pointy edges here. So I'll show you how this thing works. 
put your piece of printer paper under your pocket and trace the outside edge with some force. You might be able to see there's a dotted line right where I traced. So I can just use my ruler to go over that dotted line. So we're not done yet, there's only one more step we need to do. Um, with this pattern, you need seam allowance. Now you can see where your pocket is going to be placed on your pattern. We're gonna take the pattern that we drafted and place it on the pant. I like to line it up with where the pant naturally folds on the side. So I'll just place mine there and make sure it's lining up with the stitched edge at the top. I have one patch pocket sewn on and I'll just repeat the steps to sew the other side. Make sure you like and subscribe below to catch all the new sewing tutorials.